All right, everyone, the problem states that a photon has a wavelength of 624 nanometers. Calculate the energy of the photon in joules. So the problem is giving us wavelength, and that wavelength is 624 nanometers. So wavelength equals 624 nanometers and the problem is asking for energy so it wants to find energy which is denoted as capital E so that's what we're looking for so to solve this problem we're going to need to use these two equations the first one is here where C the speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency so we're going to use the speed of light and wavelength to solve for frequency. And then we are going to use this equation over here where E energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency. So we're going to use that frequency that we solved for, multiply by Planck's constant to get E energy. Okay, so for this first equation, we're going to need C, which is the speed of light. And it is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Now let's manipulate the equation to solve for frequency. To do that, we are going to divide both sides by wavelength. And we're going to do that so that wavelength cancels over here on the right. And we can rewrite this equation now as V frequency equals the speed of light divided by wavelength. And I also flipped it so that frequency is on the left. And we can plug in our values. So again, frequency is equal to the speed of light. That is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second over wavelength which we have in nanometers. Now, the units for the speed of light are in meters per second. So we need our units of length to be the same. So let's turn nanometers into meters. And to do that, we're gonna multiply 624 nanometers times a conversion factor. Nanometers will go on the bottom and meters will go on top. What's the relationship between meters and nanometers? Well, one meter is 10 to the ninth or one billion nanometers. And we're doing this so that nanometers cancel out in our dimensional analysis and we are left with the unit that we want, which is meters. So to solve this, you would plug in your calculator 624 divided by 10 to the ninth power and that should give you 6.24 times 10 to the negative seven, and that is meters. So that's what we're gonna use in our equation. So on the bottom here, 6.24 times 10 to the negative seven units are meters. So looking at our units on top, we have meters per second, and on the bottom we have meters. So because meters is on top and on bottom, it will cancel out and we will be left with just per second, also known as one over seconds, or you can say seconds to the negative one power. Okay, so let's plug this in our calculator. You are going to punch in 3.00 times 10 to the eighth divided by open parentheses, 6.24 times 10 to the negative seven, close parentheses, hit equals, and we should get that our frequency is equal to, your calculator will say 4.807692 times 10 to the 14th. Let's round that to say 4.8077 times 10 to the 14th, and our units will be seconds to the negative one power, also known as one over seconds. So that is our frequency, and we can use that in our second equation, where again, E energy is equal to H, Planck's constant, 
times V frequency. So we need H, we need Planck's constant. Well, it is a constant, we know that value, and it is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th, and the units are joules times seconds. So let's plug that into our equation with frequency. Again, energy is equal to H, and that is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. And then that is gonna be multiplied by frequency, which we solved for already, and that was 4.8077 times 10 to the 14th units are seconds to the negative one. Okay, let's look at our units. Well, on the left side with Planck's constant, we have joules times seconds. So that seconds is going to cancel out with seconds to the negative one power, which is in our frequency. And seconds to the negative one power is like saying one over seconds. So seconds times seconds to the negative one power or also saying that as seconds times one over seconds will cause that to cancel. And we will be just left with joules. So now plugging this in our calculator, you're gonna do just as it states, 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th times 4.8077 times 10 to the 14th, hit equals, and your calculator will say 3.1875 times 10 to the negative 19th. Let's round that to three significant figures to give us E energy is equal to 3.19, and then don't forget the times 10 to the negative 19th, and our units are again joules. All right, so final answer for a photon with a wavelength of 624 nanometers, what is the energy? It would be 3.19 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos, and thank you, thank you so much for watching.